The University of Brighton is delighted to be welcoming Year 12 students here today for the first STEM summer school. Um, STEM Sussex, we do STEM outreach, so science, technology, engineering and maths outreach with our local schools and colleges, trying to inspire the uh, young people to get into these sort of STEM subjects and careers after they finish studying. They're going to be meeting scientists and engineers involved in research at the university, taking part in investigative projects and learning, most importantly, about pathways to STEM careers. The first challenge this morning is the Antway Challenge, so they're designing and building little robots to take part in some events at the end. It's about experiencing what a university can offer and what higher education can offer. Right now we're trying to build a robot for our robot wars, so we're, we're seeing how engineering works. <laughs> okay! Well on to Team Terry. STEM is such a wide area, so what I want to get out of it, I suppose, is a overview. I'm hoping to get some valued experience that I wouldn't really be able to get anywhere else because, I mean, in this sort of environment, I mean, especially the university, I think that's quite valued by others as well. My role as a student ambassador is to promote not only my subject but also engage an interest to the opportunities that other STEM subjects can offer. I've really enjoyed studying in pharmacy generally. I always knew kind of I wanted to do it, but I wanted to do something that worked with people as well. I think that doing practical classes is absolutely essential to students' understanding of science. Um, and I think it's also really exciting seeing science in action, being able to get involved with what's going on. Just stab myself in the finger um, to test my blood uh, to find which blood type I am. I thought the STEM course would be really interesting because all the wide things it covers and I knew that it involved pharmacy of which I'm really keen to go into. I would like to in the future maybe go into medicine, maybe pharmaceutical type area. Part of the reason why we got into STEM was looking at um, the lack of, of girls coming into design and technology. We normally get about sort of 50 or 60 students uh, at GCSE level, whereas this year we've got nearly 100 students, so we've more or less doubled the number in year nine. Uh, and that's because last year and this year we've been running STEM events. Brighton's extremely well placed for students that are looking to do a STEM career. And when I came to the university, I fell in love with the facilities, um, the, the city, and the general relaxed feel of everything. It's got some fantastic uh, links with companies, it's very close to London, so it's an extremely good place for students to kind of come down and study and make these links while they're studying so they can kind of continue that afterwards. The university has these connections, you've just got to literally re reach out and take them. I wouldn't have done this in college or anything, so it's a nice experience. You get to see other things that you can do. It basically opened my mind up to what I can do. I want to go to university. I'm probably going to leave here today going, I need to go to university, it's so good. I only changed my mind whether I wanted to do pharmacy like a couple of days ago. After completing my A-levels, I'm going to be applying uh, for pharmacy at the University of Brighton. I would be the first person in my family to go to university, which is quite an achievement in itself. Don't worry about age and what you've done before, just throw yourself in because the best part about it is you learn as you go. Just have, have at it. <laughs> <laughs>